are you nervous doing? No. Okay. Um, so I'm here to give an introduction to someone who doesn't need much of an introduction. Um, but today, I want to do something different than what most people see me doing with Dwayne. Most of the time, when you see me talking to Dwayne, I'm usually yelling at him or getting on him about something or having him do push-ups because he didn't do something. <laughs> but today, I want to tell Dwayne how proud I am of him. Um, I remember when I came to visit VES after I accepted the job, and I was talking to Coach Trey Nicholson, um, and he was just giving me the spiel on a lot of our football players. Um, and when I asked him about Dwayne, he just laughed. Um, and his biggest thing was that that is gonna be your project for the next three years. And so um, for Dwayne, what I wanna to say to you today is how proud I am of you. Um, thinking about who you were as a sophomore, how much we argued, how much we fought, how many times you told me you were gonna quit football, um, to now who you are as an athlete, as a young man, as a student, and as a leader. Um, and I just wanna say I'm proud of you and excited to see what you do at Seton Hill. The floor is yours. Uh, so I got, Five things, I gotta make sure I can count. I got five things I wanna tell y'all, right? And I'm gonna tell y'all in the most northerner, Philly way possible, all right? That's what we're doing today. Um, so, when I was young, so maxing out, that's the first head of the thing, right? Uh, it's making the most out of your opportunities, right? So, when I was younger, my brother went to juvie for, he got in trouble, he was getting in trouble a lot. And my brother's name's Daquan, that's why his name's up there. And he was, he was foolish, that's the best way to put it. And he told me when he, got out of when he got out of juvie, he was maxing out. As in, like, he wasn't in school, but he was still trying to do the best thing. Like, I'm pretty sure my first Xbox came from my big brother, who just got out of juvie and just started working. He didn't go back to high school. He just started to work. And that's, what, that's why it's really important to me, because when I first came to VES, I looked at VES as, especially since it was during COVID year, um, where's Mr. Button at? That guy kept us locked up in our rooms. It's not his fault. <laughs> It was two, two people couldn't be in the hallway at the same time. So <laughs> to, me, to me, what VES was, was my side of the room, four walls. We couldn't move anything. We couldn't put anything on the walls. We couldn't go in the bathroom at a certain time. We had shower times. We had laundry times. To me, it sounded like prison. And, and it was because I was sent away from my home, I've been a mama's boy my whole life. Like, I, I'm, right up the, up, I'm right up under my mom. If you see anybody I really like, I'm up under them too. So I was away from my mom. First time I've been away from my mom, my family, it was tough. So that's why when my first year, I was kind of, it wasn't great. Uh, yeah, that's the best way to put it. It wasn't great. And then I just, I came to this, I think after football season, it was after practice, we were practicing in the snow. And I remember I was like, we're practicing the snow, and it sucks, and I hate the cold, but today I'm going to max out. And that just meant I'm going to do the best I can today and tomorrow and while I'm here. Even though I don't, might not like it, I'm going to try to do the best I can while I'm here. And the second one is called being yourself. So one of the most, which I find to be funny, being yourself is the hardest and the easiest thing to do because being yourself is a passive decision because when you wake up yourself, you actively choose to try to be someone else. And I also find that to be real hard because being yourself to me is like, it makes VES special. That's what made Philly special to me. Like Philly, I had a friend that was Italian and black. Dantes is Muslim and black. I had all my friends was from everywhere around the world. Like down the street, I had Colombian friends up the street. I had Dominican friends. It was just about mixing our cultures and having fun. And that's what I find to be fun at VES. So if there's one thing you take from this talk, it's be yourself. You can all, you're the only person that can, act, that can be you to a T. That's it. And then the third one, do what you, do what you say you're going to do, right? Uh, and we call this being gangster. Me and Dantes is a thing that we just always tell each other. We say, like, if we say we're going to do a bet, we say, I bet you won't do that. And he'll go, gangster. Or he'll say he's telling me something, and I'll be like, that's true, and he'll go, gangster. So being gangster is just holding yourself accountable for the things you say you're going to do. If... You say you're going to do it, do it. That's probably one of the, to me, the most important traits you could get from anybody. If you're going to do it and you say you're going to do it, do it. You're giving yourself an expectation. Now everybody's holding you to this expectation. You should do it. You should do it. And the second one is see it through. So on that sticky note at the bottom is paid in full, love the game, money Mitch, right? So we had a teacher, 
here named Mr. Casper, and I called him Money Mitch. Money Mitch is from a movie called Paid in Full. That's why they're up there. Uh, basically, it's about uh, a, a young hustler. That's basically what it's about, and it's about him seeing it through. The quote right there says, the hustler mindset is when you have passion around something, you'll do whatever it takes to execute on it. So if you love something, you should do it, like, no matter what. If you love it, you love, like, I love playing sports. I'm going to play sports until I'm, like, 80, as long as I can. I'm going to be that old guy in the church league that's still, like, you know, back in my day if I didn't hurt my knee. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's who I'm going to be. Just keep doing it because that's going to keep you you. It's going to keep you sane. It's going to keep you happy. When you stop doing things that you love, then it's really going to be a problem. That also goes back into being yourself. Do things that you love. Just because you see someone else doing something, just because you see someone else doing something and you want to be like, oh, I want to do it with my friends. It's okay for you to tell your friends. That's just not me. That's not, that's not what I do. That's, that's not for me. Um, and the last one, it's okay to not be everyone's friend. This is also really important. It's okay to have your own people. I'm not saying be rude to nobody, but it's actually really hard to force everyone to like you. It's not possible. No matter where you go, not everyone's going to like you. And you don't have to like everyone. But especially at VES, we're all going to have to respect each other and we're all going to have to live here together for, well, not me. <laughs> I got three more, what, 80 days? No, 92. 92? So, uh, yeah, I got three more months. But, you know, for the people who are here, make the best of the time while you're here.